Tensions between two global superpowers, the United States and China, have yet again spilled over into the tech world. This time, the battleground is artificial intelligence, and the stakes couldn't be higher. The U.S. government has escalated its clampdown on AI chip exports to China, citing serious national security concerns that strike at the heart of the global semiconductor industry. Let's break it down. Leading tech giants NVIDIA and AMD have been caught in the crossfire, with NVIDIA warning of a staggering $5.5 billion revenue loss due to restrictions on its H20 chips, a cutting-edge technology that plays a pivotal role in AI applications. AMD, too, is bracing for impact, expecting to lose roughly $800 million, and it's not just U.S. firms feeling the pinch. Dutch semiconductor manufacturer ASML, an essential player in chip production, has issued a stark warning about growing uncertainties in its outlook. So, why is this happening now? The U.S. sees China's growing capabilities in artificial intelligence as a direct threat to its military and technological dominance. AI chips enable everything from advanced weapon systems to surveillance networks, and Washington is determined to prevent them from falling into Beijing's hands. Ultimately, this move aims to choke off China's access to key technologies, particularly high-performance chips, while strengthening America's hold over global innovation. These actions come at a price, a price felt far beyond the companies directly impacted. The ripple effects of tighter export controls have rocked global stock markets, sending tech shares tumbling. Investor anxiety is palpable, and it's no surprise that gold prices, a traditional safe haven asset, have surged as a result. It's a clear sign of growing uncertainty, not just about the future of U.S.-China relations, but about what this decoupling might mean for the world economy at large. The deeper story here isn't just about lost revenue, it's about the reshaping of a tech-dependent global order. China has been ramping up its domestic chip production in response, pouring billions into research and development to increase self-sufficiency. If the U.S. hopes to maintain its competitive edge, these restrictions need to be paired with robust domestic investments in innovation and manufacturing. It's not enough to play defense. The offense matters too. As these restrictions play out, the fallout could reshape industries ranging from AI to defense to consumer electronics. For now, all eyes are on how Washington and Beijing will navigate these uncharted waters. Whether this is just a short-term skirmish or the beginning of a prolonged tech cold war, one thing is certain. The chips on the table aren't just silicon. They're shaping the future of global power itself.